CWT is like a lot of customer service experience companies. We're very excited about what AI opportunities are offering us and how we can work with customers, right? So one example is natural language processing. Uh, we have a tool called Answer IQ, which allows a travel manager to go type a question in almost like a Google search bar, only imagine you'd be able to ask questions such as, uh, how many voluntary downgrades on BA did I have? Or what was our total car rental spent coming out of London this past year? And that's one example of how uh, an AI tool can help create a better customer service experience for a travel manager. For a traveler, um, we're experimenting with a lot of chat technology. We have one with, uh, we call it Reese, it's working with Facebook Workplace, uh, where employees can actually begin their travel interaction through chat where the robot will begin to gather information, gather data, and tee up the transaction or complete it based on how much they have. AI is changing the game, definitely. Looking at industry challenges, about savings, about cost containment, compliance, duty of care, and as well travel satisfaction, you know, before, during, and after the trip. These are key challenges for the travel managers. And today it's quite difficult. AI is changing the game, why? Because first, with the new analytics, the new learning mach uh, machine learning, uh, the, the system can understand the company's travel patterns, learn the traveler's pr uh, preferences, and better predict for the next time the hotel to recommend. Next time, when you will book, the hotel will suggest you automatically three hotels that fit exactly your needs and in line with the policy. And maybe after tomorrow, you will book in your Outlook and uh, a, meet a meeting somewhere, and the system will automatically suggest and maybe book an hotel for you. Second example, you know, uh, it's about the uh, AI-driven robots, robotics, uh, powering our rate filtering solutions. That scan repeatedly the hotel rates in the online booking engine um, and compare and to make sure that only the negotiated rates are really available in the shopping channels. And why? Because a GPTA research demonstrated that 17% of the rates are wrong today and companies are paying 40%, 14, 14, 14% more than uh, the negotiated rates. And if you look at that, uh, just the error rates and the losses incurred are just not acceptable. That's why AI helps as well the company to avoid these costs, clearly, between 1% and 2% on the total of spend. There are also other applications when it comes to data protection, fraud management, as well continuous sourcing to optimize based on the data, thanks to AI as well, uh, the hotel program, just to as well enhance uh, the traveler satisfaction and at the same time to make savings. One of the best examples is we're an operations company, so uh, gathering data and doing something called robotic process automation is one case where AI is helping us significantly. It's um, a good example is how you can gather information off of like an HR database or an HR feed to populate information when we implement a customer. This is something that can run in the background and, and leave our people like project management or implementation specialists to provide their more specialized knowledge while we let the robotic process automation take care of a lot of the more manual effort. So clearly we see that AI helps the travel manager to drive more efficiently uh, the hotel category. One is about speed and efficiency, getting the data, analyzing the data, and taking the meaningful decision based on that. Second is about transparency, which was not available before, so thanks to a massive amount of data. If you think about rate filtering solutions, clearly this improved big time not only the accuracy and the trust in the process, but at the same time, avoiding some costs between 1.5 and 2% of the total hotel spend. And so it would be about intelligence and benchmarking, because thanks to that, they can capture a lot of data and just compare to the state of the art uh, in this industry.